What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today. I bring you coverage of something real interesting so let's get into it. So Ryan K at Bungie tweeted out this image. He is the visual design lead so it does make this image a little more interesting. So what exactly do we see here? Well we can see a sword standing in front of well what looks to be a Vex door. We see a crest of some kind and a shield too. There is no text nor anything else into what this is. Now if this was tweeted out by someone else I would say this is nothing more than fan art of some kind. But the fact Bungie's visual design lead tweeted this out, I think it's definitely something of interest. Now I've seen a few people suggest what this could be. Some people saying it's a DLC tease, while others with more of a clue suggest what I actually believe this is. And this will make many folks happy. What I think this is, is a grimoire card or grimoire card art of some kind. It looks so familiar in that sense. Check it out beside a grimoire card from D1. So what does this mean? Finally, five months after release, we're getting something which should have been in the game from day one. Honestly folks, the further forward we go with Destiny, and the more they announce these better changes coming to the game, I can't help but think the base game of Destiny 2 was nowhere near finished. If it was finished and the base game was planned to be this bad, I don't know what is going down within the Bungie Studios, but it definitely needs to be fixed up. We know the game was rebooted around 15 months until it was planned to be released. Maybe they were pushed by Activision to get the game out within that time frame. Bungie must have known only 15 months to go that they could not achieve what they wanted for their game. With that in mind, it makes sense as to why all these changes are being incorporated now and why the base game was, well, lacklustre content wise. I'm happy these changes are being made. If these are Grimoire cards, although they ain't at the top of my list of things Destiny 2 needs to survive, it's still an addition the first game had which was taken away for the sequel. This and around 1000 other things. But hey at least now where most have boycotted their game, they are listening and trying to salvage what's left by giving us what we originally should have got. They could just give up you know. Yes I know this would look real bad on Bungie for sure, but they could. Game developers have done this in the past, but I feel they are obliged to go on. Yes, it's costing them big time, both affecting their banks and their community. But in my opinion, it's the only thing Bungie can do now to even start trying to revive their game. Many are saying it's too late, while others are really excited. I personally, I'm in the middle. I'm super excited for Destiny 2 to become the game it should have been. But at the same time, I don't think a perfect Destiny 2 will have the same effect uh, it would have or should have. I feel many people have moved on and found other games which swallow their lives even more. Coming back would be a hard stretch. And this is no fault of anyone's but Bungie. Now people, I ain't bashing here, I'm just stating the truth. I see so many comments on my video saying why do you always bash? on Bungie but still play their game. People it's called tough love. I don't hate or bash on Bungie because it's the thing to do nowadays like most people are doing. I bash on what they do because it's affecting the game we all paid money for and we should have received better. It's as simple as that. I want this game to succeed but I won't help it succeed by sugarcoating the crap that it is right now. So these Grimoire cards for sure will be a great addition and many many folks will fall on their knees if this is confirmed to be them but we will see. So we're going to move on from that. Let me know down below in the comment section what you think that is. Do you think it's Grimoire? Let me know. So Faction Rallies people is here later. Which faction will you be choosing? I'm definitely going with Dead Orbit for sure. I need those ornaments people. I actually thought I had the Future Walkout ornaments on my Hunter 2 but I was wrong. Luckily I'm a Hunter Scrub and I have two Hunters so I can pick both Dead Orbit and Future Walkout. Happy days. A few changes coming to Faction Rallies though which should be good. Last Sector Chests do not lock you out so you can continuously farm them. You just have to defeat that Last Sector boss before you can open up that chest which is fine. They've also added a few new weapons into the faction engram loot pools which you'll see on screen now and also the winners weapons as you can see on screen now look half decent. We will see which faction wins. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be Dead Orbit but we know Future Walkout hasn't won yet. Is this their time? We will see. On that note guys, I am out. I will be streaming Faction Rallies later, so make sure you have that bell ticked next to that subscribe button so you don't miss out on it. And yes people, I will be playing with viewers. So guys, hopefully I will see you there. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really does help me out and I will catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.
love will get around.